Good afternoon, everyone. I hope this video finds you all well. Uh, today I'm going to do some bridge variations. Um, there's a few different, there's lots of different things you can do a bridge. I'm going to go over a few of them now. Um, so we all know where to start with our bridge. Um, you know, our bridge position here. So flat on your back. Heels, depending on if you want to work your butt or if you want to work your um, hamstrings. Um, closer to the body, works the butt more. Further away from the body, works the hamstrings more. Um, and remember to engage the core, of course, because that's going to help keep your lower back uh, protected during bridge exercises. So remember the bridge straight up and back down. So the first variation you can do is just do, do your bridge and then don't go all the way back down. Keep some tension without getting your back all the way onto the floor. Um, the next one is, you know, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, is one leg, one leg up, and push yourself up with just one leg. This is great if you want to isolate either leg. So when you're doing when you're doing uh, exercises where you're using both limbs, both legs, or both arms to lift the weight, or if you're using just body weight to push your body weight, you're stronger. Um, your stronger limb, your you know, one's always going to be stronger than the other, and you're all so that the stronger one is always going to be the one that's working, that's doing more of the work. So if you want to isolate one or the other, this is a great way to do it. So, like up. Now, if you want to open the hips up a little bit more, you can cross one leg, ankle to knee and lift up with one leg, but just remember to try to keep yourself straight. It's really easy to start to twist the hips. Just try to keep them lined up. Um, and lastly, I'm going to show you bridge on, um, you can use a bench or you can use a chair, though I would recommend if you are using a chair, please make sure it's either a really sturdy chair or, you know, one that's not going to move or have it braced against a wall or something because I wouldn't want chairs to go flying out from under anyone. So heels on your surface, whether it's a chair or a bench, whatever you're using. And same thing, except, you know, you don't have your feet flat on the flat on the surface. You're using your heels. And then you can do the same thing here. You can, uh, you can do your reps without going all the way down. So you're keeping some tension there. And you can do it one-legged. You can also do it legs crossed. Um, so there's a bunch of good bridge variations for you. Um, it's really, uh, like I said in my first bridge video, it's quite, it's really a versatile exercise and it's fun to do. It's, um, you know, Good for those butt muscles. It's probably one of the one of the best things you can do to shape shape that shape your butt, um, <laughs> which I know a lot of people want to do. So uh, yeah, I hope that um, that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you got something out of it and. Um, if you liked it, please hit the like button, please share this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any videos. Um, and I will be back on Sunday with another, uh, sort of low key senior focused workout. So I will see you then. Have a good weekend. Bye.